What's up, guys? I, I missed you guys. I haven't seen you guys in two weeks. Two long weeks. Happy belated 4th of July, everybody. Hope everything was good. Mine was good. Got a new day for you guys. Um, I was surprised that they came back out with it out here in uh, the cheap tobacco. My friend Matt told me about it, and he pulled out a can. He's like, look what I got. And I was like, no way, dude. No way. All right, guys. Today, our diff of the week is... Cope. Whiskey. Alright guys, on the presentation of this pretty damn looking, fine looking dip right here. Alright, we'll start at the warning label. Okay. U.S. smokeless tobacco. There you go, look at that. Long cut whiskey blend. That's fucking awesome. I love that black and orange. Alright, that's freaking sweet. You got your warning label. Nobody gives a fuck about it. You got that orange lining again. Alright, and the can, guys. It's nice and frosty. Well, we're still keeping it frosty for you guys. But, uh, it's got that Copenhagen original look to it. That, um, tarnished golden brown. Whatever. I think it's a goldish tarnished. And then you got the brown in the middle or black whatever long cut gotta crack the seal oh yeah this one's so smooth all right guys let's get a look and smell of this dip but yeah, guys, sorry I couldn't get a video up last week. Um, I really couldn't get a dip of the week. I was going to do my Copenhagen Wintergreen, but I was like, you know what? I'll brace, I'll brace them, make them uh, wait for it. Oh, okay. That's what, that's what Copenhagen Cope Whiskey looks like. You can smell, it smells like a bourbon. It does smell like bourbon. You can smell, it does smell like a whiskey. All right, I don't know what it feels like. Okay, it's moist. But it's also frosty. Um, okay. Doesn't feel too bad. Let's, we gotta do it for you guys. Engage. Okay. I always gotta do that. I gotta get back into it, guys. Alright. Pinch is not too bad. Pinch size, I mean, cut size, it does feel a little smaller. It does seem a little bit of a finer cut. Pinch time engaging. Hmm. Get it. Hmm. I'm trying to think of how this dip is. Hmm. The taste is a different kind of taste, guys. Mini paint. Hmm. Cope whiskey. No, oh, yeah, guys. We brought the new green. Dip, dip. Nice. Oh yeah. That green dip top looks like it's a lot smoother than the red one. Hmm. But guys, cope whiskey. You can taste the bourbon flavor to it. it. Does kind of have a hint of original to it, a little bit. Taste isn't bad though. I mean, I'm not used to it, but it's it's not too bad. I mean, it's a little dry. I give it a four out of five. Yeah, I'd give it a 4 out of 5. Moistness, I'll give it a 3 out of 5. Cut size, I'll give it a 3 out of 5. Now, that seems fair. But yeah, guys. um, I got camp coming up here Monday. I don't think I'll be able to get a dip for the week for you guys next week. I'll see what I can do. I'll do my best, but... If I don't, I'll see if I want to build up the suspense for another dip of the week. 
or I'll just come out with a Coke winter green. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll see when the time comes, okay? Oh, yeah. This flavor, like, once you start dipping it, once it starts juicing, you're starting to get the flavor. It's starting to become more stronger. I like it. Overall, I'd give this about an 8 out of 10. I'd give it an 8. It, it definitely deserves an 8. I mean, it does, it has that natural kind of taste. The natural, original. It's It's got that teeny, teeny bit in there. But it, this is definitely a good dip to try, guys. Again, Coke Whiskey. They did discontinue in some areas. I know they did in Canfield. They used to have it. They, they had an uh, older can that didn't look like this. It looked, it was like an orange top. Like, kind of like the Southern Blend. The, but that was 330. That was a very expensive dip. Because I bought a log. And then I bought that. And that came out to 14 bucks. I was like, shit. Damn, that's expensive. For one can at 330, I was like, fuck. Guys, I will, I'm going up the, I'm, no, I am going up to Canfield tomorrow. Southern Dippin' 510, if you're watching, or whenever you watch this, we are making a video tomorrow, dude. We need to fucking make a video. Like, we gotta do it. It's gonna be awesome. I miss you. We haven't done, I haven't chilled with you, talked with you in months. Alright, man, come on. You gotta hang out with Dippo Champion 60 Kilo. Come on, man. That way you can help me out on subscribers, maybe. <laughs> but anyway, guys, yeah, I got camp next week. Um, I'll do what I can to get you guys to another dip of the week. Not 100% sure, but tomorrow I'm heading up to camp field around 6. I'll see if I can make a video either Saturday when I get there or Sunday, probably around 11 or 12. We'll see what we can do. Joey, you got to give me a can of that smooth hickory, bro. You got to give me a can of it, man. I will do anything to get a can of that. I've been trying to get my hands on that shit for over a year. I don't know. How, like, you need to help out. Buy me something off the Northern. I'll pay you, bro. Like, do something, man. I'm begging you. But anyway, guys, back to the, uh, back to the dip. This is definitely something to try. If you are a natural kind of guy, this definitely has that taste to it. It's it does it's it's a sour dip. It's it's not really sweet. This is definitely a dip to have just to chill at the campfire or something. We might camp out tomorrow, so why not show that? Patrick Bassett's never had it before. Cameron's never had it before. I'm pretty sure. So we're, we're gonna have people try it out. I mean, we got you got to share. And holy shit, guys! Again, I'm sorry. I, I need to shave my head. Tomorrow, I'm going to shave my head before I go to the camp field, and we got to get back to that, because my hair is getting way too long. I hate it. I need to get a drink of water. I'm thirsty. Grody. Now I got to spit again. Damn it. Hmm. Look at that bubble. Poke. Gone. <laughs> but yeah, guys, we'll try and get you a video here tomorrow. We got to get Southern Dip in 510. We got to chill out and do our DQ dip, guys. But yeah, guys, we'll end this video here. Uh, there's really nothing much else to talk about. We, this dip is definitely something to try, guys. Cope Whiskey. If you have it near you, whoever, uh, wherever you guys live, let me know if you guys can get this. This is definitely something to try. But, yeah, guys, keep dipping, keep spitting, and remember, keep packing those fucking lips, guys. Yeah, look at that dip. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video.